I'm Ray Tomes from New Zealand. I'm going to talk to you about cycles, uh, which is something I got interested in cycles when I was trying to do economic forecasting uh, on, on that. The world is full of cycles. Um, I don't normally notice these, but if we start to look, we can we can see them. The way we live our lives on daily and weekly and monthly and yearly is all based on astronomical cycles. Things dominate our things for periods of wake and sleep. All to, to do with astronomical configuration. Bodies are full of cycles also. We breathe in and out. Uh, heartbeat pumping away, brain waves whirring away in our head, different frequencies according to the uh, type of activity we're doing. And there are many other longer and shorter cycles uh, in our bodies. Cells have got uh, right down to atomic and, and uh, subatomic. The economy has a variety of cycles that dominate changes, creating booms and busts and pr commodity price changes. Each different commodity has its own unique rhythm, uh, sometimes several different rhythms of price increases and, uh, and falls. So for example, the American stock market main cycle is cycles in property, uh, six years and 18 years. There are the longer cycles in stocks also. Sugar, for example, has a six year cycle, many uh, different. Oil has a five and a half year cycle. The sun itself has many cycles, and the periods of these are often important for life on Earth. Most people have heard of the 11 year sunspot cycle, although, in another sense, it's a 22 year cycle because every 11 years the sun's north and south poles do a flip. So then for 11 years it's that way and then it's back again. So the full cycle is 22 years. The number of sunspots comes and goes on 11 years. There are longer and shorter cycles in the sun also. And some of these longer cycles are connected with changes in the climate. Shorter ones which have bursts of activity that, that affect life on Earth. The sun rotates on its axis in 26 days, but we see it as 28 because the Earth's moving with the sun in its orbit. Those other cycles tend to be multiples of that. In the long term, uh, there are geological and climate cycles which make living conditions on Earth range between extremes. So we have uh, ice ages, um, and then we have... At the moment, we live in in a period between ice ages called an interglacial um, and those happen about every hundred thousand years at, at present. The uh, uh, thing with those is that um, longer term cycles again where where there are no ice ages so where the conditions these ice age cycles there's three main cycles Due to variations in the tilt of the Earth's axis, uh, the Earth's axis has got a, a tilt relative to a tilt around the Sun, but this tilt gets slightly more and slightly less on this 41,000 year cycle. Also, as the Earth's spinning, the, the uh, axis does a little gyration like this every 25, 26. The Earth's orbit around the Sun, which is an ellipse, gets longer and thinner and shorter and fatter every 100,000 years, although there's another component. That leads to the ice ages. They're incidentally um, due for the next ice age to arrive uh, any time, but with a 100,000 year cycle you can't pinpoint the ac it very accurately, but it's likely to be in the next thousand years or so. Uh, it's quite distinct. So, uh, again at the atomic scale, um, everything, the atomic, atomic particles and atoms are basically um, oscillating processes uh, that are full of cycles. So the 
um, the electron in a hydrogen atom, the electron going around the proton is orbiting at a particular frequency going around uh, extremely fast. And the electron itself has its own vibration that's going on, and the proton, a much faster one again, and then, and then when there's neutrons, vibration called the Compton frequency of those particles. For, uh, for um, protons and neutrons, it's um, uh, not far short of a million, 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 million oscillations. The, so, and some of the geological cycles, the longest ones known. So there's a whole spread of things there, um, which have us. I will do some subsequent um, recordings on particular aspects of these cycles, going into them more detail. But this is just an overview of the fact that everything is going in cycles.